Hey guys, I want to do a quick video on um, how to get um, started in hot shot trucking. Just remember uh, in this video, the numbers I'm throwing out there um, don't include a vehicle because I already own the vehicle. Okay. Uh, first thing I did, we'll just jump right into it. First thing I did is I went straight to the Secretary of State's website. I'm out of North Carolina. Filed for an LLC. It's 125 bucks. Takes about five days. Um, you can do a DBA if you'd like. I've, I've done DBAs in the past. You can do a DBA. Um, but I did an LLC as well. I wanted to set everything up. And I did some other stuff on the, uh, the back office, I guess you could say, on how I set that up. But LLC was 125 bucks. Filed uh, with my uh, the county in which I live in, which didn't cost me a dime. Uh, got registered with them. Then I went to the IRS website, uh, got a tax identification number, or EIN. It's free. You can do everything right there online. So after that, <clears throat> I went to the uh, FMCSA uh, website and I did everything online. Uh, did the DOT number, the MC number, the BOC3, and the UCR. Uh, your DOT is free. Your MC number is $300. Your BOC3, um, there's a whole list of agents that uh, they have on there and you just go on and pick one. That's what I did. Um, it's normally around 25 or 30 bucks. I think I did one that was around $45 and as soon as it went at my MC went active, I would get a copy from them so I didn't have to wait the 14 days. Um, the UCR run me $64 and some change. So you're looking around, if you don't do the LLC part of it, you're looking around 400, 410 bucks, all right? There is um, a website called Truckers Bookkeeping Services, or TBS.com. Um, they offer to get you a DOT MC and a BOC3 for $300. They don't charge you an administrative fee, okay? So basically your BOC3 is free, all right? But you do have to pay for the UCR, um, which will run you 65 or 70 bucks. Uh, but you can check out uh, Truckers Bookkeeping Services. And I think they also have factoring too. I'm with OTR, but you don't have to sign up for their factoring for them to do this service for you. So just keep that in mind. All right, so after I got all that set up, um, I'd already been looking at insurance on the backside because that's one of your biggest expenses. That's going to be a deal breaker for you. There are guys out there that pay less than me. I do have some points. Um, there are guys out there that pay more than me. Um, and it depends on the state or region that you're in, your uh, driving history and, uh, and things like that. So mine, uh, the quotes I was getting at first were thirteen to twenty-eight thousand dollars, but I ended up finding two companies in North Carolina um, that quoted me at seventy-two hundred dollars, and they were like within days of each other. So if you're out of North Carolina, Virginia, or South Carolina, I'm gonna drop a shout out here. Uh, check out uh, Paramount Insurance out of High Point, North Carolina. Um, Sharon is who I dealt with. But anyway, got the insurance set up. That was, uh, that's a million dollars liability, $100,000 cargo, and then full collision and comp on my truck and trailer. Um, runs me about five ninety six dollars a month and put $1,500 down. After that, I had to buy a trailer. I looked at PJs, Big Techs, Gators, the whole nine yards. I settled for a Kaufman. They all have standards they have to meet. Some are built a little bit better than others, and some are a hell of a lot more expensive than others. It just depends on what you're looking for. Some guys use a 30 foot, some guys use a 40 foot. I went with a 35, went with a dovetail. If I had it to do over again, I wouldn't get the dovetail. I'd just get slide out ramps. Uh, 
the trailer took its uh, factory direct through Kaufman, uh, right out of Denton, North Carolina, Denton, Thomasville area. Uh, it was $9,200 out the door. That's with the two upgrades I got on there. That was tax, tag, license, the whole nine yards. Went up there and picked it up, 30 day tag when it came home. Um, the upgrades I got was a dual two speed jacks instead of the single on the front, and I upgraded to the Cooper tires. Um, so $2,500 down on that, I financed around $6,700. My payment runs me $163 a month. And I haven't had any trouble out of the trailer, no electrical problems, no you know, wiring issues, no paint issues. I couldn't be happier with it besides the dovetail. Um, so after that, uh, insurance and trailer, I had to buy supplies. The supplies I spent right at $1,500 on. Um, I bought four chains, four binders. Um, I bought the 20 by 24 tarps, and I got all this from my tea products. Um, I bought the 20 by 24 tarps with no flap and the D rings on all four sides so I could use them for six foot or eight foot tarps. Um, I bought the 31 inch bungees. Um, and I bought 40 of them. But I did I have to buy I did have to buy another 20 pack, so I would go with 60. Uh, I bought the two inch straps and ratchets, the combination. I bought a 10 pack. <clears throat> I've only used about five of them. Um, there's nothing wrong with having a little extra. Uh, since I have the ratchet rail on my trailer that uses the four inch straps, I bought a 10 pack of those also. There's eight on the trailer, and then I have two spare. I had to buy a breaker bar, and uh, I bought one four-inch ratchet for the for the large straps. Um, so around 400 for your MC BOC3 and UCR, okay. Uh, 125 if you want to do your LLC, and that may be different in your state. Uh, $1,500 down on the insurance. $1,500 for supplies and $2,500 down on the trailer. Um, that puts me at roughly $6,000 in startup cost. Um, now, as far as the vehicle, I already owned my vehicle, but I would suggest, in my opinion, and if I, if I had to start out and find a vehicle, I would not buy a vehicle. I would get an enterprise lease. Uh, I am contemplating getting one, but uh, I can't speak on that because I don't currently have an enterprise lease. I haven't been through that yet. But if you don't know who Toe Piglet is, uh, you need to find out. Uh, go over there to his site. Uh, his channel and look at something he dropped this week called Hot Shot Truck Lease. All questions answered. Uh, it's pretty much the most uh, comprehensive video on the truck lease. There have been other people that talk about it or have done something on it, but uh, he actually breaks it down for you, lets you know the ins and outs of it, uh, what you need to do, who you need to talk to, and things like that. But check that out. Um, if you're not interested in doing your own setup through the uh, FMCSA website, uh, check with uh, Truckers Bookkeeping Services. Um, like I said, they'll do it at, with no administrative cost. Uh, it's just your $300 for your EMC and then your UCR, and they'll handle it all. Okay. Um, OTR is who I use for my factory super good people. I work with Ashley and Catherine down there, but the the app on the phone is awesome. Um, you know, I book my loads. I, I, I check, I do a broker check on the phone, um, and as long as they're approved, um, then I can factor through them. Uh, if it says call the office, that's because they haven't done a, uh, a credit check on them in the last 30 days and nine times out of ten it comes back approved uh, but if it says not approved you're on your own 
so just keep that in mind. But OTR is really good to work with. They're out of Georgia. Um, I would like to give a shout out to another hot shot driver. Uh, works out of Texas. Uh, Ratman Roden or Rodden. Uh, but he's got a pretty cool channel. He um, he's old school. You can tell he's uh, he, he's laid back. But he, he says what's on his mind. He's got some pretty cool stories too. Um, but uh, if you get a chance, jump over there to uh, his channel and check him out. But that's all I got for today. Um, Y'all stay safe out there. Appreciate you watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Share. Um, if you're going to get into it, go balls deep.